Hello guys, it's Talia. The Swift Go is back for 2024, just announced in Las Vegas. This slim, all-metal laptop is ultra-portable and ultra specced out with an OLED screen, crazy power from the Core Ultra 9, yes, 9, and integrated art graphics. And starting at a mere 1.3 kilos, I'm wondering what it fits all in. Paired up with a lot of AI capabilities and a Quad HD webcam, and this might just be this year's best value for money laptop. I know it's only January, but I'm, I'm calling my bets now. So the Swift has always been Ace's thin and light range, best for taking on the go swiftly, I guess. And it really keeps its namesake up to 1.6 and 14 inch measuring in at a teeny tiny 1.32. It's just a baby. It has a really nice aluminium chassis with a fully extendable 180 degree hinge. I like that a lot. And thin bezels to max out the screen. At the top, you'll find a little notch for that very satisfying one hand opening. Something that's not, something that's not particularly easy in these like laptops because there's not much to weigh down, but that was, that was very smooth. <laughs> Inside you get kind of insane processing power too with Intel's new Meteor Lake chip up to a core Ultra 9. Different naming scheme, but as it's a nine, you can expect it to perform like a like an i9. <laughs> that is crazy powerful for a laptop that's so small. It has 16 cores and I can't stress this enough. This is gonna storm through any CPU heavy workload. And the new chips come with AI boost. So the smaller AI workloads, things in your day-to-day -day tasks are offloaded to a microprocessor, reserving your chip's main power for the heavier workloads. Mighty little guy, aren't you? Uh, that's with Intel's new integrated graphics based on their Arc architecture architecture. <laughs> These are going to have a big performance sleep, apparently being able to rival entry-level graphics cards, so you're going to be able to do creative work and gaming too. Uh, they both share amazing memory and storage options as well, with up to 32 gigabytes of low-power DDR5X for a noticeably speedy laptop and a stonking 2 terabytes of NVMe SSD. That's what I have in my editing laptop and I... I am a hoarder. I keep projects way longer than I'll ever need to and I've not even come close to hitting that 2 terabyte limit. It is golden. Powering everything is a 65 watt hour battery, which is plenty powerful and when paired with our new, more efficient processors, I have a good feeling about the battery life, which is all you'll have to go off for now because this is an engineering sample, so it's more of a pretty face than anything else. Can't do any official battery life testing on it as of yet, but what I do know is that the battery is bigger and the new processors operate at a much lower power. So yeah, I have a really good feeling about this. Let's talk about the screen. This display plus the specs at this price point is shockingly good. It's an OLED panel with a 2.8K or 3.2 resolution, depending on the screen size. The colors and clarity of OLED are just amazing. It's only here that you're gonna get those really bright colors and really deep blacks with HDR certification to back it up. Paired with 100% of DCI-P3 for all of the colors, every single one of them. This is so good for content creation and even just for watching videos, the screen is really nice. The refresh rate goes up to 120 hertz, so not only does it look good, but it's really quite speedy too. Swift even. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the screen has a little bit extra height with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. This feels a lot easier on the eyes because you take away all that wasted space around the sides of the screen. Does anything, does anything important even happen there? I don't think so. No, the keyboard is backlit and the touchpad kind of is too. So in the 14 inch, you have this light up Swift logo and when you swipe it, it reveals a multi-control touchpad. This looks really nice and here you can mute, full screen the video and change playback speed. When a person <laughs> spends a lot of time on YouTube, sometimes they just need to consume the content as fast as they can. <laughs> it's me, I'm that person. I watch most videos in 1.5, sometimes two speed. <laughs> I really appreciate this function. There's a Quad HD webcam at the top of the display for noticeably crisp video calls and a privacy shutter for when that's not an option. And it has lots of AI features for video calling. There's a purified view for low light images and webcam features like background blurring. And one of my favorite things to be included is Asus Purified Voice 2.0 because it works to remove your background noise, which is good, but the background noise of other callers as well. That is even better. You have the benefit of Intel Unison, a feature that lets you connect your Windows laptop to multiple Android or iOS phones to easily share files and make calls, which is perfect for all of those who refuse to make their life easier by having one operating system. You know who you are. And this Copilot, which is an AI assistant that integrates into your Microsoft Work apps. Like the paperclip, but not like the paperclip at all. It uses all the information it has there to write meeting notes, status report, make whole PowerPoints for you. I don't know the limit of this. It could maybe take over my whole job. There's also a sense key on the keyboard to launch Acer Sense, which is a control hub to check the system, manage storage, and get support. All pretty expected features. However, there is a little wild card there called AI Zone. You can play around with the AI capabilities of the Swift Go and its more advanced tools, like running stable diffusion locally with GIMP and Acer are going to keep rolling out the updates for this one so there's going to be more features in the future. Exciting. I love a lot of things about the Swift Go. The gorgeous OLED screen, powerful processor and all the new AI features. It feels like it's really been future-proofed in that sense and for it to come in a design that is so light, the laptop you use the most is the one you have with you and at 1.3 kilos this can and will go anywhere. Let me know what you think of the Swift Go down below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!